How's it going everyone? This is week three with the summer hub growers. Um, everything is looking uh, incredibly huge. Things are really filling in. This lettuce, um, this deer tongue lettuce um, is getting really thick, really full, along with the, uh, the arugulas are getting nice and big. And then the uh, some of this leafy green mix is getting really big as well. Um, so you guys can go ahead and start eating. Um, a lot of this lettuce and remember just like last video's update pull from the outside So if you do use it Use it from the outside part and then let it grow from the center. Uh, you can really see it with these deer tongue lettuces So it's gonna grow from the center. So what you're gonna want to do again is just pick from the outside of These lettuces unless you guys are making a huge salad then you can go ahead and use the whole thing Just know that it's probably not gonna grow back uh, if you go ahead and just chop off the entire thing. So use it from the outside in. Um, some of the underneath lettuce pieces are going to be a little bit darker. Um, just at the same time, remember to, to fill up your reservoir. And we're going to add nutrients. So your one pack of nutrients as well. Easy. Done. You can see the cucumber starting to grow out of its space and you can see those little feelers that's what it's going to use to support itself so it's going to grab onto anything it sees um, you can kind of see it grabbing for this little piece of burlap here to support itself um, this cherry tomato as well um, we're just letting it hang off naturally you can see it's starting here on the side part and just kind of naturally going over to the side a lot of people have asked about supporting it um, you can certainly support it around the uh, around this wood 4x4 with some twine if you'd like, but we're going to let ours just hang off so you guys can see uh, what it does without a support or without uh, being supported to the side stake. Um, a lot of this lettuce too, it's going to flower. Um, so just like the arugula, you're going to want to take off those flowers. You can use scissors as well. Um, you can see some of these smaller flowers coming in on the lettuce take those off because that's the that's the lettuce trying to go to seed and that means uh that it's trying to um it's trying to produce seeds um which means it's kind of the end of the life cycle for it so if you pick off the flowers uh, you're preventing it from going to seed and it's going to grow longer for you um the main thing people wanted to know uh this last week was using the bug spray um we currently don't see any bugs on ours um, so we haven't been spraying, uh, any of the bug spray, but if you guys do see some bugs, like some little bugs or, uh, aphids, those are going to be the smallest ones. Um, you're going to want to use this bug spray. You're going to want to use it, uh, when it's not super bright outside, preferably when the sun actually goes down during dusk. Um, make sure it is on spray and not stream. And then you can just lightly spray wherever you see uh, those bugs, or you can wash the bugs off too. Um, again, this is an organic spray, but you might wanna wash off stuff after you use it, um, or when you pick it, just because of the taste. Um, so that's how you use it. Don't, don't go overboard on it. Uh, it is an oil-based um, uh, bug spray. So yeah, be, be pretty uh, gentle with it. Um, and then use as needed. If you still see bugs, uh, continue to use it. So every, again, everything's growing really, really big. Uh, start using the herbs, start using the lettuce. Um, let the tomatoes continue to grow. Let the cucumbers continue to grow. Um, those are gonna get really big as the summer goes on. And you can already see we have our first tomatoes. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments or you can email uh, us with the email in the description and we'll see you next week. All right, thanks.